Hello people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Lemon. 4J Studios have released the title update 9 trailer. Now I was slightly surprised that they were actually announcing that they were going to release this trailer because I didn't realise it was so close to being finished but now we obviously know it's concerning we've got the trailer. When a trailer is released it normally means they are very very close to finishing it, if not they have finished it and it's going to go into cert testing very soon or they, it might even be in cert testing, we, we might not know. You know, prior to this, now that they've uh, released a trailer for Title Update 9, I'm pretty sure we're going to be expecting the update to arrive to us on consoles in a few weeks, probably even a week. I I'd say a week. It maybe, no, yeah, okay. A week to two weeks, I'd say. Now, I've looked over this trailer a few times just to make sure I didn't miss anything in the trailer when I'm mentioning what stuff is, but I'm pretty sure that I've missed something, I've always missed something, and normally there's something big that's hidden in the trailer. So if you guys happen to find anything, even if it's something little, just post it in the comments I may have missed during the trailer. One more thing before we start, I'm going to be pausing the video, you know, throughout just explaining what is in the image that we have been shown just now. So if you want to watch the original trailer without any interruptions before watching this video, or you just want to watch it, the link to the original video will be in the description below. But other than that, guys, sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, let's stop it right here. Straight away, we can see that there is obviously new wood on the house being decorated there. The birch wood, I think that is the birch wood and planks. And if you guys didn't notice, there's also a new gravel texture. If you look um, uh, on the gravel leading up to the house, which I was surprised. I thought we were going to get that a lot later, which is good. And also, vines are showing there, but obviously we can't see that they're climbing them. But climbs are vine uh, vines are climbable. That's what I was looking for. Climbable vines as well. Okay, let's stop it here. Behind him is an item frame. The item frame is the Eye of Ender. You can't see it right now. You could see it before, it's just so I wanted to pause it here so you guys could see the sign above it, which is the recipe to make an Eye of Ender. It shows Ender Pearls plus Plays Powder makes an Eye of Ender. So right now they're collecting ender pearls. You receive ender pearls from killing endermen, which is what they're doing now. As you guys can see in the bottom right screen, there's a new feature now which we didn't know before that now when you switch your item it says what the item is at the top of the screen. As you guys can see, this guy switched to a bow and now it says bow at the top of the screen. Uh, I would I in my opinion, I don't really like that. Uh, I find it quite annoying, so I hope there's an option to turn it off. But if not, that's fine. Let's continue with the rest of the trailer. Now, sorry for pausing it so quickly after the um, the previous pause, but as you guys can see in the background, there is a guy wearing chainmail armor. Now, of course, we already have chainmail armor if you go into the creative mode, but why is it in survival mode? Could we get it in survival mode? This doesn't ha happen on the PC. I think if they've just uh, spawned it in creative mode and then gone back into survival mode. I think that's all it is, but it's just something to look out for. You know, we might be receiving this in survival mode. Who knows? I, I doubt it, but, you know, it's possible. So right now they are looking for blaze powder, or should I say blaze rods? They are looking for blaze powder, but to get blaze powder you need to get blaze rods. And to get blaze rods, you need to kill blazes, a new nether mob which is obviously found in the nether. Now if we pause it here, if we look in the bottom left screen, the guy is holding what appears to be an enderman spawn egg, but I could be wrong. But anyway, like I said before with the chainmail armor, why is the spawn eggs in survival? We can tell it's survival mode because of the hunger bar. So why is it in survival? Yeah, it, it, I, I think this is definitely just, you know, going into creative mode, spawning the spawn eggs and then going back into survival mode. Just showcasing the spawn eggs, you know, that's all it is. But, you know, just a little heads up and something to look out for. <laughs> All 
Alright, so now I'm just going to say what they're doing now if you guys aren't too sure what's happening. Now that the Eye of Ender was made, you know, from the resources that they gathered, they're using it to locate a stronghold. All you do is throw it up in the air and then it will drop to where a stronghold is located. Well, more preferably it will be an Ender Portal which is located inside the stronghold. This is the final step to get to the end. Just another thing, if you guys weren't sure what happened there, what you do with the Eye of Enders is you place them all around the end portal, it requires 12 Eye of Enders to activate the end portal, and then all you do is jump into it once it's activated, and then you will enter the end. Now here we have the Ender Dragon in action, a beautiful animation as you guys will see at the end as well. The end of the video that is, not the end of dimension. And of course with end stone at the bottom and those end towers with endermen at the bottom as well, this is the end. A lovely dimension, which is basically the aim of the end is to kill the Ender Dragon and then it rolls the ending credits. Supposedly the end of the game, but really it's not really the end of the game, it's just so people who complain about not having an ending, now there is an ending. So there we go guys, that was the official Title Update 9 Minecraft Xbox trailer. What did you guys think of it? Be sure to post a comment and also post a comment um, please if you found anything else um, I may have missed. I'm I'm hoping that I found everything, there wasn't too much showcase in that trailer. Well, of course, there, there could have been and I could, could have just missed loads of it, but I looked for it three times. I'm um, hoping I didn't miss anything, but if I did be sure to post a comment. And one more thing, out of all these features only showcased in the trailer, which one are you most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to probably different coloured wood because it expands creativity, you know? It could expand what you can create and it makes all new designs and it will, it will look really cool, you know, new coloured wood. I'm looking forward to it. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video. Again, the original trailer is in the description below and hopefully we will be expecting this update in just a few weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. Lemon out.